Question number four, practice paper B, Pure Mathematics 2. Um, this is the IEL paper I've compiled, and this question I've taken from <coughs> C2, okay, of June uh, 2018, the GCE paper. GCE, and I think this is question number five from that paper. And um, this is um, the whole of this paper is compiled from either C2 June 2018 or C1 June 2018. Okay, so I compile the, the questions so that they are related to um, the new P2 uh, syllabus. Okay, so that's what I did in this particular paper. Practice papers A and B are taken from other types of questions from the new A levels in England and stuff. This one is taken purely from the um, the the C the C two and C one from June two thousand eighteen. I've modified one or two questions, uh, which will come later, to make it um, to make it more relevant to our syllabus. Anyway, so question number four. It says the circle C has equation x squared plus y squared minus two x plus fourteen equals zero. Plus fourteen y equals zero. We've got to find the coordinates of the center of C and the exact value of the radius of C. Now, both of these questions can be answered in one step because if we, comp if we express this in the form x minus a squared plus y minus b bucket squared equals r squared, if we express in this form, then the number inside this bracket Okay, whatever makes this bracket zero, the value of x that makes this bracket zero is going to be your x coordinate, and the, the value of b that makes this bracket zero is going to be your y coordinate of your center of the circle, and the this is r, the square root of this is going to be your radius. Okay, so I need to basically express this in this form. So let's just get x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 14 y equals zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring together the x term with the x squared and the y term with the y squared. And then I'm going to complete the square. So I'm going to say, okay, take, I'm looking at just x squared minus 2x to complete the square. I'm going to have a bracket, which is squared. I'm going to put x and minus a half of this coefficient, which is one. Okay, now if I expanded this, I'm going to get x squared minus 2x plus 1. I don't want that plus 1. There's no plus 1 here, so I have to take away that one. Similarly for this, I'm going to have a square bracket. I'm going to write y plus the half of this coefficient. Now if I was to expand this, I'm going to get y squared plus 14y plus 49. Well, I don't want that plus 49, so I've got to take away that 49. Okay, and now that gives you 50 on this side, which I can add 50 to both sides. So I end up with x minus 1 squared plus y plus 7 squared is equal to 50. So now I can say that the center of the circle is the number that I have to put into this bracket to make it 0, which is x equals 1. And the number I have to put into this bracket to make this bracket 0 is y equals minus 7. So that's the center of the circle. And the radius is going to be the square root of 50, because this is r squared. See, so r squared equals 50, so r is equal to the square root of 50. I don't want the negative part, because r is just a length. So this is going to be, in its simplified said form, it's going to be the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, which is 5 root 2. So the radius is 5 times the square root of 2. That's the exact value of the radius without being rounded. Okay, so there we have the answer to part A and B, uh, done in one step when we completed the square. Then it says, find the y coordinates of the points where the circle crosses the y-axis. Okay, so like if we take this form that we've got here, x minus 1 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals 50. And I'm also going to take the original form, which was x squared plus y, x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 14. Why? So x squared plus um, y squared minus 2x plus 14y equals 0. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. We know that when it crosses at the y-axis, at the y-axis, we know 
that x equals 0. So if I put x equals 0 into here, I'm going to have minus 1 squared plus y plus 7 squared equals 50. So I can say this is going to be 1. So I'm going to subtract 1 from both sides. I have y plus 7 squared is equal to 49. So we know that y plus 7 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 49, which is plus or minus 7, taking the square root of both sides. So we can say that y is equal to negative 7 plus 7 or negative 7 minus 7. So the two values of y are y equals 0 or y equals negative 14. Those are the two places where it crosses the y-axis when x is 0. So one is at the origin and one is at minus 14. Now, what we could do if you wanted to and you had time to verify, because maybe we, you know, we might think, let's make sure that we got the first part right. Okay, we could okay, uh, try to solve the equation using this to see if we get the same answer. So when y x is 0, you're going to have this is going to be 0 and that's going to be 0. Okay, and these two will be 0. So you have y squared plus 14y equals 0. And this is actually easier to use this, okay, which we should have done in the first place because you've got y and you're going to have y plus 14 equals 0. So either y equals 0 or y equals negative 14. In fact, that was far easier, wasn't it? Okay, so it's actually easier to use this when we put um, x equals 0 into here. These two disappear and you're left with y squared plus 14 equals 0. So you can find the answers in a much quicker way and... So I would actually not, not bother doing that and use this way, actually. I don't know why I did that way, but anyway. But you can see how they both match, and you can check your answers to make sure that you've got the right answer, like cross-checking. Anyway, that's part um, C. Okay, so I'm just going to write some information that we have found so far on the next page, and, and then we can do the next question. Okay, so part D says, find an equation of the tangent to C at the point 2, 0, giving your answer in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0, where A, B, and C are integers. Okay, so now, this is the equation of the curve, of the, the circle, and these are the points where it hits the y-axis, which we found. We don't actually need this. But what I'm going to do is just to, um, just for the sake of making things a bit clearer for you, I'm going to make a little sketch of this circle. Okay, so let's see. Let me, uh, we got the, the center of the circle, remember, is 1 and negative 7. Okay, uh, 1 and negative 7 is going to be down, down here somewhere, isn't it? 1 and negative 7, just like roughly down here somewhere. Okay, so the center of the circle passes through there and it goes through the origin and it goes through negative uh, 14 down here okay so it goes down here oops what's going on okay so it goes through the origin and it goes through negative 14 okay and it says find the equation of the tangent to the C at the point 2 0 so this is the point 2 0 okay so the tangent to the curve at this point, we'll basically just brush past, uh, sorry, tangent to the circle at this point, we'll kind of brush past the circle piece tangent, and it won't cut it, or just something like that. So we can see that it's going to have a negative gradient, this tangent. Okay, now, normally when we find the tangent uh, to, uh, the equation of a tangent to a curve, we normally differentiate the curve to find the gradient when x equals that value. So we would differentiate the curve, find out the gradient when x equals 2, and then we'll say, okay, the, the line will have the same gradient as it, so we'll substitute x equals 2 into the gradient function, find the gradient of the line at that point, and then continue. Okay, but we can't differentiate this very easily. Even in the form it was given to us, which was x squared plus y squared minus 2y uh, plus, four, so plus two, minus 2x, sorry, minus 2x plus 14y equals 0. Okay, that's the way it was given to us. All right, even you can't differentiate, you can't find dy dx very easily. It's possible, we'll learn how to do it later on in your math slides, probably in P4, P3, but uh, we don't know how to do that now. All right, so we have to find another method of finding what the gradient of 
this tangent is at this point too. And we can do that using the fact that we know the center of the circle, which is 1 minus 7, and we know the point at which the tangent touches the circle, which is 2, 0. Okay, so we know that the relationship between the tangent and the radius at the point where they touch is basically that this angle is 90 degrees. Okay, so the tangent to the circle is perpendicular to the, radi to the radius. Okay, so the tangent okay, to the circle at 2, 0 is perpendicular to the radius that comes and meets at 2, 0. Okay, so let's find the gradient of the radius up to this point. So that's going to be the change in y, remember this is 2, 0. So you've got basically 2, 0, and you've got 1, minus 7. So you're going to have 0, minus, minus 7, 0, minus, minus 7, over 2, minus 1. That's going to give you 7 over 1, which is 7. So the gradient of the radius is equal to 7. Therefore, the gradient of the tangent is a negative reciprocal of this. So it's going to be minus 1 over 7. Okay, so we now have enough information to work out the equation of the tangent. We know its gradient is negative 1 over 7, and we know that it goes through the point 2, 0. So we can use our equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So you have y minus y1, which is 0, equals m, which is minus 1 over 7, times x minus x1, which is... 2, okay, and we can now multiply both sides by 7, so you get 7y on this side equals, and you've got minus x plus 2, minus 1 times x is minus x, and minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, I've already multiplied by 7, so that 7 is not there now, and then I can bring everything, because they want everything on one side, ax plus by plus equals 0, where a, b, and c are integers, so I can add x to both sides, have x plus 7y, and take away 2 from both sides, minus 2 equals 0. And there we have the equation of the tangent, okay, of the curve at the point x2, uh, 2, 0, sorry. Okay, so there's the answer to that question.